today's session we are going to work on account creation let me go to the dial folder let me go to the models folder here i am going to create another folder to store our data transfer objects here i'll create add class account dto so inside this i am going to create two properties string account number another property decimal initial balance let me go to account model account number first name last name is here let me copy these properties so here we need all this property now i am going to the dial folder here i am going to create one interface let me make it as i account service here i am going to add few methods like i need to create account for that which is going to return guid create account and here we can pass account dto as account then i need to get account by id so these two things we need to perform in this session let me add task account get account by account id i'll make it as just id here let me create another class to implement this service add class so this will be inherited from my account service let me select and implement interface to implement this we need db context will be initialized here let me initialize db context application app db context let me add this into the constructor here i have to create account for that i am going to change this method as async and here i will make it as new account we need to assign the values to this account entity account first name i'll add first name and last name then account number then balance initial balance also we can return transactions here new list of transactions so once we initialize all the values we need to add the account to the context add to the context context dot accounts dot add new account and save the changes 
once it is inserted into the accounts we need to insert into our transaction tables also we need to capture each transaction against this account number for that this is insert into transactions so we need to track the transactions for that where i'm going to initial transaction this is going to be initial transaction new transaction here we have to assign the transaction values account id account id new account dot id then we need amount initial balance new account okay this is going to be account dto dot initial balance then transaction date and description we can make it as initial deposit so while creating account so this will be initial uh, deposit so i am making as description initial deposit the type will be transaction type dot deposit add these to context text or transaction dot add return account number So it is once account is created it will return the id so we need to implement this method also based on the id we need to return the account where account await context dot accounts also we need to include transactions of this account i'll include account transactions also i'll make it as t dot transactions here we need to pass account id a dot id id return the account build the application here this is account okay let me go and check this dtos account dto account number and account so guid transaction okay it should be guid let me update to the database add migration whenever we are doing any changes to our db entities we need to update the migration account id
from date database so now we are changing this id into to guid you can see here there are some errors let me go and check let me build the application so we don't have any error let me go to the back end and check refresh transactions columns okay still it is showing as agent only let me remove the previous migrations let me delete this all the migrations refresh the database tables you can see transactions now columns okay now it's updated correctly let me build the application there are no errors let me close all tabs here we are going to create one controller now add controller here select the api and create empty controller click on add i'll name it as account controller first we have to initialize our service i will make it as read only i account service i'll make it as account service and let me add to the constructor generate constructor generate constructor now here i'm going to create one action method to create the account it is going to be post action method post it's asynchronous method create account here we are going to receive account dtvo we need to pass account dtvo here here where account id equal to so here we'll use await account service dot create account here we need to pass account dtvo return so once account is created we are going to return this account number let me run the application I will keep debug point here and run the application. I will go to the account, try it out. Here it is expecting three parameters first name.
last name account number and the initial balance click on execute so this account service is not activate this account service need to register in program.cs that is what we missed let me go to the application stop it go to the program.cs class here we have to register the service builder dot services dot add scoped here we need to pause account service and the implementation class here now run the application in debug mode click on this try it out click on execute it's hitting into our post action method here we can see our DTO is carrying all the values let me go here also we can go to this definition and go to the implementation let me keep debug point here so it's coming here first name last name account number initial balance account has been created now it's updating the data to transaction table transactions are updated it is going to return the account ID continue so we got the status code as 200 so this is the newly created account numbers ID if you want you can return the account number also so this account creation part is working correctly let me go to the database and check these values select store from accounts this is my table accounts table and let me check transactions execute so we can see here this is the ID of account number this is account number and the initial balance memory key is added to the transaction table as a foreign key and the account balance is added here what is the date of transaction and description so here it's updated the transaction type 0 is deposit and 1 is withdrawal In next session we are going to implement the transactions also we need to verify the account number here so here we are providing account number as string but user can enter string or number but we need to restrict user not to enter any string here for the account number so we need to add the validations here in next session we can implement those validations along with the transaction control that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching